Oh, no way. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So today's video is going to be another transformation. All right, this is a major chop. Uh, this is actually a barber that works with me in, in the shop. His name's Rod. Uh, he decided to chop off his man bun. All right, so we're gonna chop off his man bun. We're gonna cut it down, buzz it down to a number four. Uh, shout out to this comment right here. I don't know their name, but it'll be down here, right here. They want to know a tutorial on how to go from a two on top to a zero. So this one's actually a four on top to a zero, but it's pretty much the same step. The only difference is we buzz it to a four on top. The video you're gonna see, I use my one and a half guard to set a guideline. And if it was a two on top, that would have blended right into the two. And then after that, all the steps that I do after that would be the exact same. So shout out to that comment. Um, I wanna start doing these more. So if you guys wanna learn something new or um, have any ideas or anything, make sure to comment down below. Um, I'll go ahead and use that, make create a video. I'll shout you out and then we'll continue doing that. So make sure to drop that below. Also make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't. As you guys are gonna see right here, 90, I think it's like 95% of you guys are not even subscribed. I appreciate it, appreciate you guys watching the videos, but make sure to smash the like button and subscribe because it really helps the algorithm, helps us grow. My goal is to hit 100K. Uh, it's been a goal of mine, you know, since I was a kid, since I used to watch YouTube videos. I always wanted to get that silver plaque. Please hit the subscribe button, share this video, like it, comment down below. Um, but yeah, that's it. Let's get on to the tutorial. I'm out. All right, now that we got the man bun chopped, we're gonna go ahead and take our number four guard and we're gonna even the cut on top into a number four so everything's nice and even on top and that'll set up our fade later on. If you are wondering or new to the channel, these are my Gamma Stylecraft Ergo Clippers. Uh, super powerful, super quiet, and you can find a link down below if you want to go ahead and purchase your own. You do want to make sure that you go over the head multiple times just so you don't have any flyaways, especially that his hair was in a man bun. Uh, you didn't see in the video, I didn't record it, but I did go ahead and wash out his hair, shampooed it real easy, and then now I'm going ahead and brushing it with uh, medium heat and just letting that hair lay down just so it could go, go back into its natural state. After a couple weeks, his hair will lay down perfectly, but since it was in a man bun for a few, few years, it's going to take a little bit while. But, now, I'm starting in the back because we wanted to do a low drop fade. So we start in the back and then we took off his C cups and we're meeting those two and that will be the base of the fade. And once you do to one side, you're gonna go ahead and do it to the other side and use your mirrors to see the lines and make sure that they're symmetrical as possible. After you finish bolding your client out, go ahead and get your neck duster, clean them off so they're nice and clean so you can see the canvas. And then we're gonna go ahead and follow up with a one and a half guard right here, snap that on. We have the lever completely closed and we're gonna go up about a good two inches, I would say, 
making a nice base, a nice good uh, guideline, just so we have enough room to fade into the top, also to remove that bald guideline. Follow that, follow that through the whole head. After that, I have my fast feeds with the blade completely open, and we're gonna make about an inch guideline following that same uh, guideline that we created above. Try keeping everything symmetrical and even, and take your time, be consistent, and make sure you're creating your guideline. If it doesn't look how it does in this video, make sure that when you're creating that guideline, that you have a nice even guideline, that you can see it, that there's not longer hairs or shorter hairs. Don't rush it. Make sure that you take your time and create those guidelines. After that, we're gonna go ahead and take our number one guard, have it completely open, and we're gonna go follow right below that one and a half guard that we created earlier, and then we'll go ahead and close down the lever and follow where we went with that one guard open. Now with the zero guard, we're gonna have it start completely open and we're not digging in. See, we don't wanna dig in like that. We wanna make sure we keep it flat on the head and do a flick out motion going up and out, okay? As you can see, I'm going, it looks like I'm going right where I did with the one guard, but that's how you wanna do it so that you make sure that you're fading into it and getting a nice even blend. So go scoop in and then out. And then we're gonna slowly close the lever halfway, same thing. And then we're gonna close it all the way so it's completely closed later on. And we're gonna really attack that bottom line doing a flick out motion to really remove that line. I really do like these uh, fast feeds for blending. Uh, very slow motor and very forgiving and it's really easy to get a nice soft blend. So as you can see those little lines, lever completely closed and we're just kind of flicking out that line. We're not going too high when we have the lever all the way closed, we're just working in that little area and flicking out until it finally removes. After that, I go ahead and grab my shaver. This is my bronze shaver. And we're gonna go ahead and bald them out. So now all we have left is that bald guy line to remove and then to remove that one and a half guard that we did earlier to blend into the foreguard on top. When I'm removing most of the bulk, I go ahead and use the double, both heads of the shaver. But as I get closer to that line, I kind of start flicking out and using one side of the head of the shaver so that later on we can come back with a trimmer to get an even blend. But now we're gonna go and clip over comb. As you can see, you don't wanna dig in like that because you're gonna ruin the shape and take way too much hair. So you wanna scoop in and pull out and cut whatever excess we have right there. So go ahead and push in, pull out a little bit, and just blend into that. So that one and a half guard that we did earlier, earlier is gonna blend perfectly into that four guard. You might have to come back later and do a little bit of detail back with the one and a half guard open just to get a seamless blend. Now to remove that bald guy line, we're going to start with the clipper completely closed and we're going to attack that bottom line and then slowly open the lever, go up a little bit more, open all the way until that line is completely removed. If you do create another line, go ahead and grab that half guard and that will blend into that. And then if there's still a bottom bald line, go ahead and grab your trimmers and attack that bottom line and you should get a flawless fade. Now moving on to the lineup, we start in the middle and we're gonna work to one side, get that nice and sharp. You know, you wanna make sure you move usually to the side that's a little bit higher 
because the side that's lower you could always bring up higher to match the other side so i'm starting in the middle taking my time just tapping you know not going too harsh not digging in just tapping moving to the side until i get a nice sharp line but not pushing him back too much you want to keep it as natural as possible but where you could get a nice sharp line these also are my style craft trimmers uh, these are the evos pretty much like the ergo clippers but trimmer form very pow powerful uh, they have a black diamond blade on there that's super uh, nice touch you could use these on kids on older gentlemen and you won't have any type of irritations or scratching Also just to double check, you know, push your client's head down a little bit and focus on the mirror and see where the unbalance is and attack again. But we're going to go and follow up with the razor just to get it nice and sharp, add some enhancements into the lighter areas just to make the hair appear more fuller and to really enhance those lines that we created just to make the haircut pop just that, you know, much more. This is my 245 compressor and their uh, hair dye. Super natural, blends with the hair nicely. They got a dark brown and they also have a black. Uh, we're gonna finish up with some scissor over comb just to get a nice even blend. Use the thinner sides to be a little bit more detailed. All right, so this is how you look before. Had a man bun, been growing it, but it was time to chop it. And this is how my guy looks after. Bam! My dude's back to life, looking good. We got a nice high drop fade with a nice crispy lineup. We went ahead and lined up his beard as well. I hope you guys enjoy that. Make sure to subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys on the next one, right? I'm out.